The easy thing, Jim, is to go with your uh, answer the other night, trying to win games. But yeah. anything you want to learn or see, learn maybe just about your group here, the last three? Well, we played Anaheim two games ago. I'm just going to keep it right there, Foxy. Uh -huh. And we didn't go in and clinch. We didn't play the game that we needed to play. We played that Saturday. So the challenge for uh, Saturday. Yeah. The challenge for us is to play the game we played against Calgary against Anaheim tonight. That's it. No more, no less. Coach Tar officially out for tonight? or I wouldn't say officially. Decided. Yeah, I wouldn't say officially because I, I would be careful on that. But uh, we'll see. You've said in the past that it's more important for your team to play the way that you want them to play than it is getting ready for opponents. Yep. Is, that, is it possible for that to be more true with three games left on the schedule and the playoffs coming? No, I think that's fair. I think if we focus on ourselves and we play our game, each opponent presents us different challenges. But if we play our game well, those, those things don't show up from the opponent. They're going to do their stuff because they're, they're good players and good teams. They're going to get their chances. They're going to do what they do well. But if we just do our stuff well, then we're going to take our chances against anybody. Was there anything specifically in the game against Calgary that you liked that you'd like to see repeated? Yeah, I thought our forecheck, you know, if you go back to the Anaheim game, forecheck, our tracking, we had numbers, we caught people from behind, looked at sticks, and then finally our net presence. You can even look at the power play goal, you can look at Akeel's tip. We were around their net, and we weren't in Anaheim. Does seeding matter at all going into the playoffs, or is it more about just kind of being the team that you want to be, building some momentum yeah. going in? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say seeding, especially where we're at. Like it, It's so up in the air for all teams, um, so I don't think really anybody's looking at that. It's just, let's get there, let's get there playing well. Coach, the, st the state of the team mentally and physically, do you feel the rest of both physically and mentally right now? We've tried to, Evie. Uh, we, our, our schedule's been very heavy, so we've tried to go out of our way through the last you know, six weeks especially, to give enough rest time to recover. So we feel like we're in good shape. It's not just about this week going into the playoffs. It's been about six weeks, the last six weeks. We've tried to you know, have an eye towards that. Talk to a couple of the players about the increased intensity, physicality, focus required for the playoffs and whether or not there's a way to prepare for it. They all said it's important to just keep the routine the same, keep doing what you're doing. From a coaching standpoint, is your job now to help facilitate that? Well, yeah, that's just it. You want to be feeling good when you hit the playoffs, certainly as a team, but as an individual player. So if you try doing something that you don't normally do that's out of your uh, skill set, out of your structure as a player, now you've got to try to take some time getting back to that. So we don't want to get away from that as individuals. We do that together, then our team structure is in place. So it really does come down to the individual player. Last season on the power play, Kevin Fiala was maybe more the facilitator than the goal scorer. He feels like he's shooting more pucks this year. Are yeah. you seeing that too and kind of impacting the unit play better? Well, I think so. I mean, I think the, the penalty kills have changed a little bit. Uh, not every one, but they're taking away the one-time shooter, which would be in, uh, Kempe a little bit more this year. Allows Kevin to shoot a little bit more from the strong side. and. I think the biggest thing for Kevin is he's hitting the net a little more often than he did. Last year he had lots of looks, was high and wide quite a bit. This year he's fine in the back. So, you know, give him credit for that.